the interesting aspect about innovation in a recession is that sometimes you really do have to do things differently. I'm Leslie Wilcox, Professor of Technology, Work and Globalisation and Director of the Outsourcing Unit at London School of Economics. And I'm Andrew Craig and together with Leslie uh, I created the uh, Outsourcing Unit and now help to run it. We've worked for 17 years researching and advising on uh, outsourcing. We have investigated over 1,000 outsourcing arrangements. At any time, the outsourcing unit has five outsourcing research projects. The outsourcing enterprise series consists of six papers so far. Uh, the first one is on the CEO's role in delivering strategic advantage. The second one is on power of relationships. The third is on choosing effective suppliers. The fourth is on retained capabilities. The fifth is on collaborative innovation. And there is a special edition called uh, Outsourcing in Difficult Times, which uh, focuses on managing through the recession for the upturn. The key lessons from the first four papers in the Outsourcing Enterprise series are, the first one is that you need a sourcing strategy that's aligned with the business strategy, and that the CEO and top management need to be involved in that sourcing strategy and its delivery. The second lesson is that it's about relationships. The power of relationships is a key thing to focus on even before you sign the contract, both sides, client and supplier. The third lesson is that you're highly dependent upon a supplier for delivery. Um, so make sure you choose the one that can do the, do the work at the right price. Uh, and the fourth lesson is your life belt is key retained capabilities. What you retain is, allows you flexibility going forward, allows you as a client to be proactive and allows you to control supplier performance. The latest research that we're doing for this uh, paper, Collaborating to Innovate, uh, was based on studying some 26 client organisations and their collaborative innovative practices. Um, we also uh, interviewed some 15 uh, supplier organisations about how they uh, innovate with clients um, and in total, we interviewed some 56 executives. Um, underpinning all of this, uh, as we said earlier, is some research going back 17 years uh, with data from over 1,600 organizations uh, in the United States, uh, Europe, and Asia Pacific. Collaboration is a cooperative um, arrangement uh, where two or more parties uh, work jointly uh, in a common enterprise towards shared goals. Um, innovation is uh, the introduction or the creation of something new which uh, an organization then chooses to adopt um, and that is adding value, creating value for that organization. Innovation uh, really falls into three areas. Uh, one is uh, IT operational uh, innovation which is really making um, IT work better. Uh, next, um, it's business process um, innovation which looks at doing things in a radically different uh, way. Um, and thirdly, uh, business products and services, uh, where we're looking to uh, have new products or new services, um, either to existing uh, market uh, um, customers or indeed opening up into new, um, new customers. In terms of the evolution here, organizations that are starting to uh, outsource will need to uh, mature through uh, the early stages of outsourcing, um, it's not possible to leap straight away to collaborative innovation. Uh, they need to go through that maturing process uh, from uh, administering outsourcing through uh, managing and then finally to leading. The sequence really is to work together uh, with suppliers and clients and collaborate. And once you've uh, got the context there and the right sort of environment, then you start to be able to innovate. You cannot just uh, snap your fingers and say that we're going to innovate. So those suppliers that collaborate well are those that, that are able to look beyond the actual contract and look for possibilities which are going to add to the business of the organization that they're working with. We've got a, what seems to be a very simple but very powerful framework in which we suggest that the, there are four uh, four processes that uh, organizations have to go through. The first is, is the leadership process, the second one is a contracting process, the third is an organizing process, and then there is a, a, a delivery process. Um, and you have to do it in that sequence. And if you miss out one of those, you don't get the delivery uh, at the end, you don't get the innovation. So 
uh, we mapped this out in our, our paper in some detail about how to get through uh, these, these four phases of, of the process of innovation. But increasingly, obviously, we're in uncertain times and the activities that we're undertaking are not that certain. When you get into that type of work, including systems development work, uh, it, it becomes absolutely vital to involve all parties. There's a, a mutual learning that occurs as a result of that, which you would not get otherwise. The assumption you can no longer make in outsourcing for a lot of the work is that somebody knows everything enough to, to do the work by themselves. So what should organisations be looking for in the so-called perfect supplier? They need to look at three um, competencies. First of all, the delivery competency. Uh, secondly, the relationship competency. And thirdly, the transformation competency. Uh, now, these are competencies that uh, organisations should be looking for at, at any time for a supplier. But particularly now in recessionary times, where you're looking to collaborate to innovate, organisations really need to look at the relationship competency and the transformation competency, because those are absolutely critical uh, in terms of creating the right uh, environment uh, for innovation to flourish. Um, also, um, it's important that organisations look at suppliers to see whether um, collaboration is actually in the DNA, as it were, of, of the supplier. This is not something that is just um, spoken about, but it is something which is actually um, achieved by actions as well. And very often, many suppliers will talk about collaboration, but when it actually comes down to it, they will not follow it up with actions. So matching those actions with the words is absolutely critical.